thank you. It's a really great pleasure talking about uh, matter, materials, because matter really matters. To go beyond metaverse, I believe the concept of the metaverse that Zina created is something very, very profound. So today, I'm going to talk beyond metaverse towards metaverse, also beyond the pixel, and also the two as radical atoms. And uh, I'm from the MIT Media, and the MIT Media is all about uh, transdisciplinary collaboration towards disruptive innovations. You will see a bunch of the examples, but uh, specifically as a designer or artist, I'm very keen how to invent new media or matter for human expression, communication, and design. I'm a painter, also I do sculpting, also I'm a calligrapher. So I love all these tools, ink, and the materials, and paper, canvas, all these matters. So we invent new brush to paint our dreams. This is an eye brush I show later. Also we invent new clay or sand to sculpt our vision. This is a soundscape, also I'm going to talk more in details. But the maybe important thing is a big trend so Nicolas Ponte, he's the founder of the MIT Media Lab in 1980s, published a book, Being Digital. How many people actually read this book by Being Digital? Oh, great. It's already a classic one, but uh, they really st stress the superiority of the bits over atoms. Fuck sucks. You should really make everything digital. But uh, I joined MIT Media Lab in 1995. Then I made a counter movement to make being tangible. Rather than being an abstract, pixel-oriented one, how we can go to the more tangible, physical materials? So that is a, a starting point of my research. But if you can see this swing pendulum between real and the virtual, many people talk about the real and virtual, but still completely segregated from each other, parallel world. That's not the right thing to do. So from atom to bits, Nicholas pushed. Then I push back to the opposite direction, from a digital to a tangible. But now, it's an interesting uh, uh, kind of black hole called uh, Metaverse. Metaverse tried to absorb all everything into the virtual world, even our time for life and work and pleasure. Somebody believes we spend a significant amount of time wearing HMD, spending his time. So something very strange and broken. So I think uh, uh, Gina's claim about the Metaverse means a lot to, really b to adjust this kind of the movement. So, uh, Nobody wearing HMD, that's good. But uh, what's a metaverse? So this here is my answers. It's yesterday, it's tomorrow. Nothing really new. And uh, of course, in the sci-fi, much, much more radical cr uh, creative ideas. But uh, fundamental problems, first of all, some, somebody who push, see, it's very natural. It's, but it's not, not that natural. It's so much technology really intervene, make almost impossible to use non bubbles like a gesture, or a gaze, or a cue. Second, Seamless convergence, convergence, that's also illusions. Once you segregate many, many different platforms, many tools, then all the stuff coming from uh, artificially, it's impossible to make seamless convergence because the world market is balkanized. So many platform players never really make uh, interoperable. The synthetic cells, that is more, more difficult and very complex. I went to the uh, lecture by the uh, people who are pushing this one. They use uh, two words very frequently realistic and the believable. But the realistic means it could be fake. Believable means it's deceivable. So it's so dangerous. Also, so many crime in the cyberspace. This amazing opportunity, also a lot of articles. You, anybody can take over your avatars. Then you can do, they can do destroy your uh, identity or do whatever stuff. So important thing is realistic. But human being can see that's not a real you or real me, for example. So special social metaverse has a lot of the problems. However, digital twin, these buildings, machine, art, artifacts people de developed, they have a digital shadow, then communicate to each other, make perfect sense. But once you go to the people, society, community, that have a lot of problems. So this is a paradigm. Many people, uh, some people really believe it. But uh, because you have to really go to deep into cyberspace. But I really prefer uh, these paradigms. Uh, this is a uh, uh, Sororas, Spanish painters from uh, uh, Valencia, did amazing, beautiful painting. He really painted the beautiful wife and the daughter walking through at the seashore, not 
go to the dive into the sea. But the seashore, talking each other, seeing each other's gaze, also picking up beautiful seashells, then bring as a souvenir. That's the world I want to live. I never want to go to uh, opposite world, but uh, because we can't breathe under the waters. I did, I did this research. You know, if you are, if you are whale or uh, seal, you can be under the water, say, two hours. But the human beings, only two minutes. And but somebody believe you, you enjoy most of life, this one, in the uh, office or, uh, or home. That's something very, very strange for me. And uh, of course, you can, if you really want to go be immersed, you have to wear very special gears. And uh, you can buy, it's already new products appeared uh, recently. But uh, fundamentally, do you really want to wear? Because fundamentally, you can't breathe oxygen in that world as a human being. So, Immersion is very important. This is a very immersive uh, environment. All people together sharing all the stuff. Shared experience is important. Then for me, this aquarium is so wonderful example. Also another series of immersive exhibition, Bangkok, Krimut, also uh, Frida Kaoro. How many people went to the immersive? Uh, okay, that's amazing because the entire architecture becomes a theatrical performance and the narrative is so beautiful. But also I can talk to my friends and the kids taking notes. So that's a world. So I think uh, we should really think about uh, what means immersion. So this is a battle against pixel empire in my past 30 years of history. So making this the tangible in my goal, but the shadow of a pixel empire is very dark, especially metaverse. So uh, let me start talking about tangible bits, showing some example. So this is a, a urban planning, architectural design, and. Uh, Media was part of a school of architecture and planning, so we do a lot of design. But here you see the um, wireframe model. This is a physical tangible model, casting shadow. But this, this shadow is digital shadow, not optical shadows. And also you can do a variety of uh, different uh, uh, simulation if you like. For example, uh, now you can, you, can, you can bring the clock. That changes the time of the day, position of the sun. Also you can explore inter shadow. You can also change the materials, surface to grass. Then you see also reflection lights. Then also uh, flow of the air, Navier-Stokes uh, equation. So if you move the building, all the boundary condition change. Then the compute Navier-Stokes equation. Then project. Then you people really understand the uh, flow of the air or traffic or emergency. How people may need to really uh, escape. So Sandscape is uh, another example to go to 2.5D. So it's a sandbox. You can sculpt, give a form, but also computer can do the, all the uh, analysis. For example, this, this vector, this vector, vector shows the water drainage, which direction water run down, what the speed, so how much erosion happens. So form giving for the beauty, aesthetics, versus uh, analytical thinking, both together, these are tangible bits. It's a sound, but the computational and the physical. We're lucky because uh, MIT Museum just finally opened a new museum. So we rebuilt this uh, 20 years old soundscape and it became the most popular uh, installation among the kids. And uh, so that, uh, because everybody played in the sandbox, but uh, you see the other reality. So I think tangibility has something very, very fundamental. Let me show the music bottles. <laughs> Once you open it, all the music coming. And uh, that's a very simple metaphor of the real world. So we extended uh, this concept, a uh, digital uh, affordance to digital domain to let people access the music or a poem read by the poet or radio and whatever. But uh, this is a very personal project. The reason I started project is I want to give a gift to my mom, which has a weather. Can you hear the bird singing? So this means today's fine day. When she wakes up, she opens it so that she knows the weather. But she passed away in 1998. Then I designed this as a tribute to my mom. Eye brush is another example. Kimiko Ryokai, she's now a UC Berkeley a professor, uh, co-invented this one because we love painting. How many people have a sketchbook today? 
Oh, that's great. So, artist, designer, architect, Mekki, but、uh, we want to bring back the practice of the Renaissance painting. In the Renaissance era, painters were also pigment maker, color maker. They made their own material. This is very special emotional color. It's not a color picked RGB. So, it's different from Adobe Creative Suites. It's a real world become a source of the、uh, material, photon. Then, using this one, you can paint. If you go to a market, Barcelona, so many beautiful stores, but those are palettes challenging you to create your new art piece. So, because using digital technology, there must be some significant reason. So, now you can see a teddy bear. Can you see it? From this teddy bear, this color came from. From where this material came from, something very important, also global warming, supply chain, and the consciousness, upstream, downstream. But now you see from where it came from. But the most important thing is kids don't care what the MIT professor says. We gave this stuff, she came up with a very unique, unexpected、uh, usage of this paintbrush. So, this is the best moment as an interaction designer or artist or whatever, a scientist, because she went beyond. So, she should come to MIT. But、uh, anyway, so these are、uh, examples. Also,、uh, we did a lot of tabletop tangible user interface, which can be used for urban planning, landscape design, but also music. Electric music is very, very powerful, but often all the musicians bring a laptop computer. From a distance, you can tell. Are they emailing? Actually, working very hard. So, how to bring a body interaction of two hands and the physical packs can create the music? And、uh, actually, this uh, uh, my team,、uh, James Patton and Ben Lech, presented in the NIME conference. Then、uh, our dear friend, Professor Sergi Joda, sitting here, was there. And his team took this idea to the next level called React Tables. I'm sure many people saw it, professionals and also musicians use it. I really appreciate this kind of really great、uh, influence, influence each other, then bring to this new way of the musical performance. So, musicians shouldn't be happy with current musical instruments. Also, we should re reinvent. And actually, Sergi and I joined the Sona session、uh, in one hour. Yeah, so I have to keep some energy、uh, left. But anyway, if you're interested in more depth, please come. How many people play ping pong? How many people play seriously? Okay, anyway, I'm very serious for ping pong. And、uh, we made a ping pong table. Now you can see the fish swimming, and also you can see the, all the water repo. Also, you can collaborate to generate the thunder. So, this is all the augmentation using a simple three microphone each table, positioning about the、uh, hit. But the most important thing is ping pong often to be the zero sum game. Make your opponent make a mistake to gain the point. That's not so beautiful. But、uh, even you make a mistake, ball hits the net, you see all the water, water ripple, all the audience enjoy. So, this is my social media before Facebook or Twitter. So, Radic Atom is the next jump from tangible bits. Because all the atoms are great, but frozen. They don't really dance. So I, want to, I wanted to make atoms dance. So today, in this world, there are two materials, two matters. One is frozen atoms, metal, wood, or glass. Second, intangible pixel stuck in a 2D screen, like this one. You can't really that touch. You can't do anything. So we, I really dream to make a third material called radical atoms that's dynamic, physical. And the computational. You can computational change the shape, even property, like a stiffness. So let's go. And actually, good thing is, radical atoms are very crazy, high level ideas. Usually, scientific community doesn't accept it. But we're lucky. Arts Electronica. How many people went to Arts Electronica? It's a great、uh, media arts、uh, festival in the Linz, Austria, every year. So、uh, They took my radical art vision as an entire banner of the、uh, stuff. So, 3,000 artists came, but、uh, Gerrit Stocker, director, made a very nice subtitle The Alchemist of Time. Let's become an alchemist. Let's make our own materials, matters for artistic expression. Then do the amazing stuff. That is exactly the spirit. And we brought a bunch of students, they exhibited the new piece and the old piece. So, let me introduce some of them. Being here and being there is our fundamental dream, especially COVID 19 crisis, f o r c e us to get stuck in the house. Then you can zoom. From zoom, you can see, you can hear, but where you are, fundamentally, you never feel the presence. Presence is so important. 
なあ、アイリューフィール、そのピープでや、おそ、なんでも全部スリーピング、because いや、ゲーズ、カミングヒア、いや、ゲーズビーム、そういうポイントのエナジー、フォーミー、トゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥト Also, you know, 3D printing is great, but the most printed stuff is a dead end. But this stuff, multi bar chart, is still alive. Computing satisfies the constraints, constantly rebuilding. So, these are dynamic materials, everything is equation. So, you can also sit, sit and sleep onto the mathematical equation. Also, this is a sensor, it can also change the shape. So, you can make an ideal shape of the pillow or bed or those kind of stuff. So,、uh, we extend this inform to the next level、uh, using uh, uh, inform engine, three inform engine using a kinetic triptych that are transformed. So, this piece、uh, we present in the、uh, Milano Design Week、uh, 2014. And、uh, Milan, how many people went to Milano Design Week, Milano Salone? Good. That's all about the furniture. Furniture is basically frozen. Beauty is skin deep, feel. But I want to make a collision of the machine, actuated machine, robot, and the furniture. So, still and dynamic, bits and atoms. So, these are radical atoms, thanks to Lexus, supporting our work. Also, important thing many people take its constraints for granted. Look at gravity, we are stuck on the floor. Of course, it's a gravity. But、uh, asking the question, why have to obey? Those kind of the constraints are fundamentally important to the innovator. So, we invented the material called Zeron, g i n a r i and the Lamy Post. This material you can put in air, then stay there. Number two, computer knows exactly where it is. Number three, computer can move it around. So, that becomes physical pixel or whatever、uh, you can really sculpt. So, above your head, a lot of spaces. You can also make another、uh, stuff. You can sit or sleep if that makes sense. But I like astronomy, so that we apply for the three、uh, objects like a model simulation. Good. Also, I'm inspired many people to make biological, bio, biological ma materials. So let me introduce biologic. I just added this slide 10 minutes before. So this is second skin for the athlete or dancer. Then we're using a bacteria called Bacillus s a b u t u r u s n a t o as a relative humidity sensors and also the actuators. So you will see a bunch of the bacteria printed on the flap of the skin, which act as a sensor and also the actuator. Of course, no battery, no Arduino, or no stuff. It's fundamentally biological self contained second skin you can wear. But、uh, there's no like,、uh, uh, printers to deposit the liquid exactly at that time. So we built our own bioprinter for the deposition of the liquid. The important thing is how you calculate how, much,、uh, how many bacteria、uh, you have to put, the million of the bacteria you are printing. But、uh, you need a science to really justify all the controls in the technology. Take a look at her back. This is her heat map, then sweat map. Then we made a model to optimize her performance. What kind of ventilation really helps to perform the best? Then with a simulation, then compute, then send the data to bioprinter to put the exact number of the bacteria to each portion. Then last part is the art. Motion of human beings is so beautiful. It's a dance in the art. So, we worked with a professional dancer of the Boston Dance Company. But she actually taught when she dancing, she f e e l the change of the air. Then, that also makes her to change how to dance. Then, she said she feels like dancing with bacteria. 
are so poetic, but you can't write any patent or paper. <laughs> That's a limitation of science and technology. But anyway, uh, so what I'm talking is important things. Invent and inspire, both important. Many people invent amazing technology, then hope somebody make a killer application value. But you have to really do both. Otherwise, you can't really uh, make an impact. So our guiding principles be artistic and analytic. Be poetic and pragmatic. This amazing community, many people talk about the transdisciplinary, but we have to do it. But it's tough. You have to speak all the language. So let me show the last, last, uh, last project, uh, Mira Fugue. So Mira Fugue is done by Dr. Xiao Xiao. She's an accomplished pianist, but also the computer scientist. So she's playing piano inside of the piano. So it's a recorded uh, her play. He's moving, it's actuated, like radical atoms. But uh, you see herself, it's a mirror. So we came with this idea that the other reflection means something, that you might be able to live forever inside the piano. So then we came up with idea, cross-generation, like a collaboration. So she's a young Xiao Xiao, but actually my daughter, Arisa. She was cute at that time, but now it's not any more cute. But uh, at, oh, are you recording? Oh my. Anyway, so grown up Dr. Xiao Xiao playing young Xiao Xiao. This is something uh, very, very uh, important. Imagine your grandma used to be a concert pianist, but anniversary day, you can invite her from heaven to download to the grand piano in living room. Then she can play the grandchildren. So that's beyond telepresence, which we call teleabsence. That's the newest project we are working on that. So art, science, design, technology have a different principle. But the most important is we have to speak all the language, coming with the idea, then keep real-time translation, spiral. Also, I like uh, uh, Bruegel's painting of the tower, tower, of, the, uh, tower of the Babel. So I think uh, we need to really transcend art, design, science, technology, going to make this kind of spiral. I think that is a really important uh, mission of this community and uh, this conference. So I'd like to thank to Zina, who found me, and uh, we resonated about uh, my radical terms and her metaverse. I really believe beyond the metaverse towards the metaverse means a lot. Thank you very much for your kind attention.